Oh, why do you have glitter on your neck? What are you? Is it lined? Is it like shaped like a line? No, it's shaped like glitter. Oh my god. Gosh. They did it again. They made a second one. This one might be better than the first. I'd, I'd say it is. I think so. They. The best thing that this movie did was it made you feel the everything punch. from the punches. Everyone's just like, Ugh. like, I was doing that. I was like, oh God. Like, you, you could hear it and feel it. it Before like, the fight, there was an obnoxious group of people behind us going like, hey, yo, Adrian, and stuff like that. Then the fight happened and we all went, ha, ooh, ha. Uh, and then by the end of that fight, I didn't hear a peep from them. Yeah, because like the movie, movie gripped them in. It was like, yo, you're gonna stop. You, you be stupid. It was you like, be stupid. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, you're gonna watch ah. this. <laughs> and you. I pulled in the, the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. But also, I liked the relationships of this movie Poor a lot. All of the relationships felt really real, uh, especially last movie, I wasn't a huge fan of the relationship between Michael B. Jordan's character and Tessa Thompson's character. I, I didn't hate it, that was fine. but I was just like, oh, okay, it's there. They got into two fights, and I was like, one of these fights is unnecessary, we just need one per movie. I mean, this I, one, they didn't really get into a fight, but it felt real. It was like, yeah, but like, relationship issues. I think you, when the movie ended, you were like, a lot of things happened in that movie. My first reaction was, no, it didn't. And I thought about it for a second. I was like, a, a lot, lot of things, a that, lot of things but they, happened, but they, they juggled it. And they all, out. in a way, had to do with each other, I think. It was, it was, it was they life. Fit well. It was all about his life. It wasn't like his life and his boxing, and everyone's here for the boxing, and no one cares about this stuff, and so it goes away. No, it was, no, all man. of it was his life. It was hard, it was just as hard to watch him struggle with whatever he was struggling with, and also watching him get punched in the ribs. He, I would say equally hard to watch. Mm -hmm. In a good way, though. They did it again. <sighs> Creed, Creed 2. <laughs> Creed 2 <laughs> made me cry. Oh my god. Sylvester crazy. Stallone! Oh my god. He got crapped on in this movie a lot by Creed. No, not that. The end. I won't say anything, but the end. His whole subplot that had nothing to do with Creed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when that got resolved, I was like, oh, no. He was good. He plays a good... Like, he was, he's still tough. He's, he's still rocky. But, you know, it was still like the... He's just trying to try my best. Yeah, and now, he, now he's more, more in touch with his feelings. He's not like, oh, I'm just gonna go... No, it's okay. <laughs> I like how even though he does drop some wisdom throughout the movie, he's still kind of dumb. Like he's rocky. Like he's not like yeah. Sm he's not smart, but he's wise. I like the one scene where he comes up. Wisdom. Y yeah, that's true. Exactly <laughs> that. Kind of thing. That's what he said. That, that thing that happens in every movie where a character is just like, hey, hey, you got to do this with your life. Think hey. about that. <laughs> Think of you. No goodbyes. <laughs> it was just some, some straight wisdom. And I, I was thinking about this when I watched it, but also I was thinking about it as like, you can't really make a movie about boxing without this. They just kind of, not necessarily, well, okay, I won't say resolve problems, but I'm going to also say resolve problems through a training montage. I They're loved cool. the no, I love. No, I loved it. No, I loved it. It was good. And it was probably the best, you know, it was the best they could do. It's just like they just did a training on it. Like it was a really good one. Don't get me wrong, it was great. And you know, the side by side between Adonis and Victor, and it was cool to see that. But like, just a, I mean, it's just a training montage. Every every boxing movie does it. It it got it sold me on the training. No, I, you know, I I believed it. It was tough. He was whew, sweating. I thought this movie did everything good that it should have done good and more. The one thing that I thought was missing from this movie compared to uh, Creed 1 was that one had an entire boxing match that was one long take. And I missed that in this movie. I was thinking about that. I was like, I wish they would do it. Yeah, I missed it, but that's just a personal choice. That's not like it's a new director in this movie and whatever his yeah, name director? is. Yeah, new director. Uh, whatever his name is, he did a good job. Oh. Uh, so, like, the movie's not worse because they didn't have it. They just didn't have it. This is a great, cinematically great 
Oh yeah, like, movie. Like it was just a lot of like wide shots. I mean, yeah, I'm not a fan of like boxing movies or sports movies. I just like good movies, and this was a good movie. I think my favorite shot was because uh, this movie had a lot to do with uh, family and like passing things down and stuff like that. My favorite shot was when uh, they're in the gym that his dad, uh, Apollo Creed, trained. Yeah. With. And he's there with his baby, and it's the big on the window shot. Uh, there's Apollo Creed like in the window, uh, part of the design, and then there's Creed beneath him, and then holding the baby, and it's just like the lineage. Whoa. Um, I'm trying to think. That must be hard for you. The the music. Oh yeah. Got oh, me. that's what I wanted to say. Got me. Thank you. Wow. Wait. Hold on. It what? was good. The final fight. I know this has the song that you know is gonna play in a Rocky to, movie. It wasn't in Creed one, was it? Yeah, it was. What are you talking about? What during a fight? I don't know if it was during a fight, but it was going to play during a Rocky movie. Well, it hyped up the fight. It was like at the at the moment that it turns, the music starts to play, and you go, "It's yeah, over. It's over." <laughs> Creed won. He hasn't thrown a punch yet, but he's won. Yeah. No, it's great though, because like this movie, I guess it's the new director. But I've noticed it a lot more. I'm, I'm, I like very cheesy, cool things, and this was—I wasn't saying I want to say it's cheesy, but they definitely like we're gonna make it more epic. And in my, in my mind, I pictured—I bet the director just kind of said, "All right, Michael, just like look really cool, <laughs> go." He's just standing there, like center screen, his music playing, and I'm like, I'm totally buying this. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't care if he's fighting a 50-foot tall monster. He's going to win. <laughs> the music playing and he looks epic and Literally. the shot's nice. It, exactly. He's Dude, going to win. They get so sweaty. They get so sweaty. They're like, I mean, I wonder if they have like little spray things for on set. They're like, okay, we're filming this scene, first scene of the day. It's like, they're not sweaty yet. Probably. probably. If, if they just start, probably not. Well, the, the Sylvester Stallone method for making the Rocky movie that like other boxing movies have since copied. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, before the filming starts, the actors are training and they're building up their, their body weight and their muscle and stuff. Right. Uh, the first things that they actually shoot are all the fight scenes. They just do all the fight scenes because that's when they're at their peak physical like condition right. because they've just been training. Uh, and before like the cameras roll, they like do a bunch of push-ups so that way their veins yeah. are like popping and I all just that. Just go into a summer. I, that's not. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also like if they film the fight scenes first and something goes wrong, well, it's time to recast. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. But overall, I give Creed to ten out of ten rocks, and I'll give it um seventeen out of seventeen. <laughs> Death babies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the end of that video. <laughs>